Hello everyone, this is a quick video which I'm making on to the introduction of this particular course. Uh, so I'm going to start with the scratch. So I'm going to go here, say.ca. So if you're going to click on to the say.ca, this page will open up and then you're going to click on to the bright space from login. Once you're going to click on to the bright space, then you will enter into this kind of a portal. These are the courses which I'm teaching for winter 2024. And there must be some courses which you are studying uh, in winter 2024 that will appear up down here. And uh, this is the course which I'm teaching you guys, Physics 182. So we're going to talk about this one. And uh, this is here. You will be able to see my picture. I'm not sure why this is not loading up right now. But uh, there is some information about me, which will also appear up here. My email address will be is posted here and my phone number is also posted here. So if you need to contact me with regards to anything, you can contact me via my email address and phone number. And uh, by the way, they are also provided down here. So this is my phone number and my email ID is down here. So that's my email ID. All right. Uh, so this is the announcement section where I'll keep on posting some useful information, some useful video links, uh, uh, which will help you to prepare for this course. Uh, feel free to reject this if you are one of those students who like to do the self-study, don't want it to listen to the lectures. These are not the mandatory lectures. This is just to help you guys. Okay. And uh, then uh, some important dates which I want to talk about. So start date is 15 Jan. This is the drop date and the withdrawal date is also provided down here. And so take your decision accordingly. Uh, now, uh, I wanted to also talk about the how the course is laid, laid out. So this is the course schedule down here. This course schedule, you can also find it under the content section. So if you're going to go to the content, and then you will click on to the student resources, not the student resources here, course information. So if I click onto the course information, course schedule, you will be able to find it from here too. But uh, I will advise you to keep checking the course schedule from here, uh, from this uh, section calendar, because uh, this will keep you updated uh, all the time as soon as you're gonna open the uh, portal. So fourth web is the lab due and uh, first lab that is and then uh, on the 18th uh, assignment one is due and 25th is the test one due. Now some of you guys are new and some of you guys have done this course with me. So the students who have done the course with me, they know uh, how the process is going to look like. Uh, uh, so I'm talking about those students who did the 181 with me. Uh, so the process is exactly the same as uh, 181. Now. Uh, the students who are new, I just want to tell you this lab, you can uh, click on to this one and can start doing this lab right away. But I'll highly recommend you to study the material first, because if you're going to do the material first, then you will be able to approach this lab in a better way. So here, because I am the creator of this one, so it took me uh, to the editing section. Uh, so uh, I will show you another way you can get it there from the assignments. So from assignments, you will go to the test section and under the test section, you will be able to find the lab one. If I click onto the test and then I will go to the lab one. So this is the lab one. And if I click onto this one and then preview it, in your case, it will be start. In my case, it is previewing. So uh, this will open up down here. And then you can copy paste this link on the side and can start doing this lab. Now, as I said, uh, make sure you have the basic requirements to this lab. Uh, only then you will be able to do it. And uh, another thing which I wanted to tell you, you will get the three chances to do, do this lab and all the labs for that matter. So three chances for lab one, three chances for lab two and three chances for lab three. Uh, and uh, the best will be counted out of those three. So if in the chance one, you score 10, in the chance two, you scored 15, and the uh, chance three, you scored 19 out of 19, means 100%, then uh, you will get the best, You the best one will be counted. All right, so that was about the lab. Uh, now, if I go back into the course, and uh, you will, after doing the lab, you will go to the assignment. So if I click here, so the assignment one, 
assignments you can find it again from down here you can click it and get to the assignment also assignments are also available to you guys from the get-go and you can get the assignments from here assessments then click on to the assignments and down here you will be able to find the uh, assignments assignment one which is due on the 18th feb and uh, again as i said for the lab make sure you guys do the study first uh, before start doing the lab but you can always download these labs and keep it safe with you and uh, then uh, another thing is the test now for test make sure you guys note down the timings of the test test will not open right away so this you won't be able to access it this will open at 5 p.m on 25th of february this is the submission type so please remember this thing this is where a lot of students confuse themselves they think that this is the start time this is the end time all these times are end times when after this time on this date you won't be able to access it the start time of the test is 5 pm on the 25th of february okay uh, so you will get two and a half hour to do this test so make sure uh, you book this time off uh, and uh, do this test at the given time that's my request to you guys uh, don't miss the test uh, because test weightage uh, is 10 percent for test one 10 percent for the test two and uh, again after that the lab two is due so the lab two process will be exactly the same as that you will follow in the lab one and then midterm for midterm, I just want to give you guys the heads up. Midterm, you will write it on the campus. And I will provide you the room number ahead of time, uh, one week uh, before you will write the midterm. But time to start the midterm is 3 p.m. So the midterm will start at 3 p.m. and you will write on the campus. So please, please, please make sure you book this time off. If you are working on this day, only midterm and the final these are the two days for which you have to come to the campus so midterm and the final so please book these times off these are on saturdays april 20th is saturday and this one is also saturday and here yeah, if you have any questions with regards to the course please let me know as i said that these are the video lectures which i've made and these will be really helpful go through this if you wanted to if you don't want to go through, if you wanted to do the self-study, that's totally fine. And uh, for the book, you will be able to find the book if you're going to take the, this. This is the book, first of all. And this book is not available in the uh, bookshop at SAID. So you will go online. Online, this book is available. And you don't need to purchase it even. You just need to copy paste this thing. If you're going to copy this, control C. And then you're going to go into here somewhere on to the uh, link you will post the link and uh, this book will open up all right so this is the book this is the same book as you followed in physics 181 so some of you might have this book uh, and you don't need to worry about downloading this book and you can if you want like the soft copy of the book a hard copy of the book you can buy it from kajiji also all right, so that was the introduction. So if I did miss anything and you are still confused, do give me a call or a phone call or a email me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, I wish you all the best for this course. This course is a fun course, especially if you've done 181 thoroughly. Majority of the questions are based on the vectors which you covered in uh, physics 181 in chapter number one and two. So yeah, I wish you all the best and let me know if you have any questions. And one thing which I forgot to tell you, if one of any one of you guys who is outside state and uh, cannot come uh, to state for writing the exams, do let me know right away so that I can book it via ProctorU. But again, for to write the exam via ProctorU, you have to pay. So this is the approximate fees, 15 to $20 uh, you can, uh, I think it's approximately $15, but I don't know exactly what's the amount it is. And this is the Canadian dollar I'm talking about. 
So approximately you might have to pay 15 to $20. And uh, so please let me know right away because if you're gonna book it at the last moment, then there will be a extra penalty you might have to pay. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise I will stop here and I wish you all the best for this course and uh, i'll see you give me a call or i'll see you on the exam day thank you